today I am going to tell you an interesting story. Now this is Ria. One day around noon, Ria gets a message from Srija, another friend of hers. And what does that message read? Neha gave me a ring in the morning. She wants to meet you at the bank at 4 p.m. today. So this means what Ria understands is that Srija has got a ring from Neha and Neha wants to meet Ria at the bank at 4 p.m. today. Now Ria is very unhappy. Why? Because she learns from the message that her dear friend Neha has given a ring to Srija whereas she has not got any. But then she thinks maybe Neha wants to give a ring to her as well. Neha wants to meet her at the bank. And with this expectation, at 4 p.m. sharp in the evening, Ria goes to the bank and waits outside. Now for a long time she keeps waiting for Neha, but Neha does not come. Now she is very, very angry. On the other hand, this is Neha and she waits at the bank of the river right at 4 p.m. as she had mentioned. But then she also waits for a long time and Rhea does not turn up. Now she is also very unhappy. Now, what do you think has caused this kind of a miscommunication? One is waiting at the bank while the other is waiting at the bank of a river. So what exactly did go wrong? Well, Neha waited at the bank of a river because by bank she meant this bank which is the bank of a river. On the other hand from the message Ria understood the bank as in this bank where financial transaction takes place or an organization that deals with money. Now if you look at the words this is also bank. And this one is also bank. The spellings of both the words are the same. Not only that, they are pronounced in the same manner. So Ria actually misinterpreted the message. What Neha meant by this bank, Ria understood as this bank. And hence, both of them waited at different banks and hence they did not meet each other. Now, such words which have the same spelling and the same pronunciation but different meanings are called homonyms. So in the English language we have many such words which have the same spelling and the same pronunciation but they have different meanings and they are called homonyms as in the case of words like bank. So the bank it has the same spelling and the same pronunciation but it can refer to two different things the bank of a river and the bank which is an organization dealing with money. Similarly for words like ring and ring. Now in that message Ria understands that Neha has given a ring as in a piece of jewellery to Srija. Whereas that was not the case. What exactly happened was Neha called up Srija as in a phone call in order to inform Srija so that Rhea can meet Neha at the bank of the river. So this entire message got misinterpreted because of homonyms like bank and ring. So in this case as well, you can see that ring and ring, they are written exactly with the same spelling. Not only that, they are pronounced in the same manner, but they have very different meanings from one another. Now let us look up some more examples of homonyms. So here we have dates referring to dates of a calendar and dates which refer to dry fruit. So these are also dates and these are also dates. Now they have the same pronunciation and spelling but you can see that they have very different meanings altogether. Soul and soul. 
This sole is the sole of a shoe, as in the bottom layer of the shoe. Whereas this sole means single or one. Sole and sole are homonyms. Bark and bark, once again are homonyms. This bark means the bark of a dog. And this bark refers to the protective outer layer of the trunk of a tree. Now, at times, these homonyms can get really very tricky. Let us see how. Look at this very interesting sentence. Put on the tie and tie your shoes quickly. Now you see, here is one tie and here is another tie. They are written with the same spelling and they have the same pronunciation. But they are very different in their meanings. One is this tie, whereas the other tie means to tie your shoes. So this tie is a noun, whereas this tie refers to tying your shoelaces. So here, these two are very different. One is a noun and this other one is referring to a verb. So you can see that we can use the same word in different ways in a sentence and we can mean different things. The fly could not fly as its wings were wet. So see, we have two different words having the same spelling and the same pronunciation in the same sentence. But this fly refers to this insect, whereas this fly is referring to the verb which is to fly with its wings. But here they have been placed together in the same sentence and yet they have a very different meaning. I left the purse on the left side of the table. Now this is left and this is also left. This left is the past tense of leave. So meaning to leave something. And this left is actually referring to the side, as in the left side of the table. So here you see, left and left are homonyms. Close the window that is close to the table. This is close, this is close. This close means to shut and this close means near something. So, I mean to shut the window which is near to the table. But here, I use the same word close in both these cases with the same spelling and same pronunciation but meanings are different. So, close and close are also homonyms. You can park the car outside the park. So, this is park and this is park. So this park means to garage the car, whereas this park is actually an enclosed area which is meant for entertainment. So these two are very different in their meanings, but once again they have the same spelling and pronunciation. So park and park are also examples of homonyms. She was looking very tense as she could not identify the tense of the verb. So see, once again we have an interesting sentence, looking very tense, as in looking very nervous or worried. And here, identifying the tense of the verb, as you must have also learned, to identify the tense of a verb, meaning to identify the tense, as in the grammatical tense of the verb. Turn right to reach the right place right now. Now in this case, we have three words. Right used in three different places with different meanings. In this case, turning right means to turn to the right side. And to reach the right place, this right means the correct place. And this right is actually referring to the exact point like right now as in just now. So here you see one word can have so many homonyms. We have three homonyms in this particular sentence. It was not fair to fight with the boy with a fair complexion at the fair. Once again, fair, fair and fair 
our homonyms this fair as in correct thing to do or a justified thing to do this fair referring to complexion which means light colored skin so the skin color is being referred to with this fair and this fair is actually referring to a public event meant for amusement so these three fairs actually have very different meanings and you see how they fit in at different places of the same sentence giving out different meanings now fill in the blanks with the same word so this is the picture as you see and the sentence is he hit the dash with a dash so filling with the same word means we need homonyms such that they can fit both these blanks and yet we get a correct meaning so what do we see he hit the dash so this boy is hitting this bat what is this this is a bat and he is hitting it with a this object is also a bat so he hit the bat with a bat so this bat and this bat are homonyms choose the correct meaning of the underlined word in the given context the sentence says i saw a carpenter working with a saw in this sentence you see we have used the word saw twice one is here and one is here now the question says to give out the correct meaning of this saw in the context and the options given to us are name of a tool past tense of c now what we have to do is read this sentence and understand the correct meaning now this saw actually refers to the past tense of see so i saw something so this saw is actually this one and i saw a carpenter working with a saw so this saw refers to an instrument or a tool that the carpenter uses so this saw is actually the name of the tool and not the past tense of see so you see the correct answer for our question would be this one so in this given context this saw refers to the name of a tool but in general given the word saw it can refer to both these things it can either be used as a past tense of see or as the name of a tool choose the appropriate homonyms from sentence 1 to fill in the blanks in sentence 2 now this is a bit tricky so you need to pay attention what is the sentence one they are going to watch a play in the evening and what is our sentence two ajay lives his dash at home when he goes out to dash now what we have to do is from sentence one we have to take out homonyms so as to fill in these two blanks now they can be homonyms of different words so now let us try to fill up the blanks ajay leaves his dash at home so from the first sentence which of the words do you think can actually be used to fill in this blank well this is the word watch now in sentence 1 watch means to see whereas if i say ajay leaves his watch at home i am referring to the wrist watch when he goes out to dash now let us try to fill in this blank so the sentence is ajay leaves his watch at home when he goes out to dash now from the sentence one we understand that this play can fit in this blank so our sentence becomes Ajay leaves his watch at home when he goes out to play. Now this play is to play as in play with your friends a game and this play actually means the theater. So these two plays are actually different. They are not referring to the same thing. So this play and this play are homonyms 
similarly this watch and this watch are homonyms so we see that words which are homonyms can be used in different sentences or in the same sentence to mean different things so today we have learned about what homonyms are and how they have the same spelling and pronunciation and yet they can be used to mean different things unless we know the context properly these homonyms can at times be actually very confusing and can cause a lot of trouble due to miscommunication or misinterpretation so we need to know the context properly and see what they exactly mean now you can look for more such homonyms in your daily usage and see how many you can find out don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now